Hey guys. I don't normally post here, except to poke fun at people and bump interesting threads but something happened to me yesterday that I need to talk about. Be me, living with folks in town near Chicago. Not a complete neat, yet. Do contract work as a network technician while studying at the local college. Mom works for a small telephone and internet company as a secretary. Small as in like four people. I know the owner pretty well. He'll often hire me for jobs. Nice guy. Get a call on Tuesday. They're moving to a different office nearby and need some networking gear organized and put into a new storage unit tomorrow. It's paid and I have nothing better to do since chink and pox is taking all my work away. I agree. Next day. It's raining. Get a call and boss man suggests I wait for it to let up so the boxes don't get soaked. Wait a while, rain lets up a bit. I head out. Get there and start loading boxes into my mom's Ford since it's bigger than my car, take them to storage unit and get them nice and organized. Storage complex is between highway and about an acre of forested area. I worked at UPS for two years. This is nothing. Make a few runs, unit is looking nice pick related, took around second run. While part way through with my third the rain picks up like crazy. It had been raining all day and we'd been getting flooding but this was really heavy. Can't get boxes from my car to the unit in this rain so I get comfy inside the unit, put on some jazz, don't judge me, and start working on fixing a MacBook for another client. Work for about two hours while I wait for the rain to clear up. Cozy.org. It just keeps getting worse. It's not very cold though and only about 3 in the afternoon so I'm fine hanging out. I finished with the Mac a while ago and am now just chilling. Then I start hearing smashing from nearby. Sounds like something hitting metal. Car crash on the nearby highway? No, it's coming from the other direction. I really don't want to go out and get wet. Whatever. Some asshole probably dropped something. This is a public area like 200 feet from a busy highway. It's raining but it's still the middle of the day and I even saw other people earlier. Zero fear. Keep working, keep hearing various banging noises. I'm going to feel like a real cunt if I find out tomorrow that someone was hurt out there and I didn't bother checking. Fucking fine. I'll go check. Rain has let up a bit but it's still pouring. Head out, round corner looking for noise. Notice massive hole in the fence leading to the little forest area. See something white moving near a dumpster by a fence. Should be wearing glasses but I lost them a month ago and haven't bought new ones because poor. Zoom and enhance dot squint. Span one one hundredth of a second thinking is that a big garbage bag onto the dumpster? That's not a garbage bag. Garbage bags don't have arms. They don't click either. Pick related. It's a shitty map of the area. Now let me make something clear. I've read Skinwalker and Inwood stories on here for a long time and know all the tropes. This had none of them. It was the middle of the day. I'm not in some deep forest or ancient tunnel or abandoned farmhouse. I'm in the middle of a small town and can hear traffic on the highway just 300 feet away. I didn't smell any rotting blood or stop hearing the wind or anything. I didn't feel a sense of unease or nervous at all. This was not a setting I expected horror in. Still not convinced I'm in danger. Just confused. Try and get a closer look at the thing. Maybe 150 feet away from it. Can see what looks like a big bag of skin under there but there's these massive white spikes poking out from under it. Keep hearing clicking noises. Huh, hello? Who's that? Immediately regret making yelling out. Why would I do that? This is the kind of thing I get mad at people in other green texts for doing. Typewriter garbage bag thing must have heard me. Something big squeezes out from underneath the dumpster. Massive pile of skin and spiky bits, at least four feet tall. It stands up. It is now taller than me. At least six five. It looks like if you took a spider, reversed its body, made it pale white, and slapped big pointy arms on it. 
It has a pointy and angular body kind of like a crayfish or spider but clearly fleshy instead of hard except for the tips of its arms slash legs. Face is smooth and flat except for a slit on each side of its head and a recession at the bottom full of little moving things. Didn't get a good look. I think they looked like crayfish mouth parts? Even from where I am I can tell it's covered in tons of scratches and bruises. Creature is clearly not happy. It doesn't seem to mind the rain but every time there's thunder it flinches hard. Also seems to be spitting up a large amount of water out of its mouth. Imagine it in the corner scene in Peak. You can kind of see the torn fence but the dumpster was moved. I can hear it fucking clicking louder now. Not like a bat or dolphin though. It sounded more like a typewriter or someone flicking a lighter. Start freaking out internally. This is not possible. I live in a decently sized city. There's no forests or swamps or deserts for whatever this is to hide in. The forest nearby is like an acre wide. You would be able to see through it if not for the little hill in the middle. It doesn't give a shit if it's possible. It's moving towards me. Thankfully it doesn't seem very fast. Quickly think. I don't know what this is. I have no weapons and my car is 100 feet away around the corner. I don't know how fast or dangerous this thing is either. Start slowly backing away. Too scared to let it out of my sight. Yelling progressively louder hoping someone will hear me. Hello? Hello help? Anyone help please? It starts moving faster, clicking more rapidly. It moved kind of like a crab with the six legs at the bottom moving it around while the two arm things were raised up like claws. Try to move faster to get away but I'm still too terrified to turn away from it. End up awkwardly backwards running into a concrete bollard and fucking up my back. It's moving really quick now. It's about 20 feet away from me. Absolutely terrified but I grab a loose piece of asphalt and get ready to try and smash it in the weird mouth parts. Suddenly loud truck horn on the highway nearby. It starts flinching again. Take my chance to cower out. Throw rock at its head miss and haul ass away. Eventually reach the row of storage units my car is and get in, start the engine, peel the fuck out. Get to get of storage complex, no time for codes, instead I do something incredibly stupid. Hop out of my car, scale the fence, and start running across the busy highway into a fucking graveyard. So this is where most of the excitement ends. Instead of turning into another green text the graveyard was fine. I ran to the nearby church, a little parish office lady let me in and let me use her phone to call the police. Obviously I didn't tell them I saw a fucking skin spider monster but someone with guns needs to get in their ASAP. Tell them I saw a shifty looking man waving a pistol around at the self storage center. I waited at the chapel for one to arrive and thank the old lady. The cop asked me some questions and I just gave vague answers. Didn't need to lie about fucking up my back by backing into a concrete baller though. Apparently cops found nothing there. There was another guy in the storage area at the time who heard me scream but wasn't able to find me before I ran out of there. I'm not an artist but I tried to draw what I saw. Sorry for the low quality. White. No eyes. Echo location. Doesn't like loud noises. OP that's a fucking cave monster. Where on your map did you forget to draw the opening to the hell cave? Theory time. It lives in a cave somewhere in that acre of forest. It's clearly flexible seeing as despite being over 6 feet tall it's able to squeeze under a dumpster that's probably only a few inches off the ground. Because of this the entrance to its cave is probably only a couple feet wide. Small enough for people to miss. It never comes out because clearly it's adapted to life underground and if it were to come out people would have seen it by now considering how small the area is. During the heavy rain its cave flooded and it was forced to escape. That's most likely where it got all its bruises and cuts from. Once it got to the surface it started trying to hide under something, hence the dumpster. Since it uses echolocation it can't detect anything very well in the rain which is why it didn't hear you until you yelled at it. As you were yelling for help it could get a better and better sense of where you were so that's why it went faster. After the truck horn stunned it and you ran off the sirens of the police probably scared it back into the forested area. 
How they didn't find it there, if they checked, is beyond me but if the rain has stopped now and the water receded then it's probably back in its cave now.